day, in fact, hotter than yesterday and even hotter tomorrow. The heat risk for this excessive heat is just off the charts. Look at the level beyond extreme. It is literally off the graph here for today, tomorrow, and Saturday. We start to tumble as far as those temperatures go on Sunday, but it's still going to be well above average. So this means you really need to pay attention to where you're going today, what you're doing outdoors. Remind the children, please take care of our elderly and, of course, our pets. We are under the bubble here of this area of high pressure. We have the hottest temperatures across the nation today. If you're traveling, Minneapolis, 73 degrees, feeling a little bit more like fall-ish. Uh, in Boston as well, 73. We have a cold front that's moving through here through parts of the Great Lakes. We've got some showers in the south and the Gulf Coast. Otherwise, for us, this big dome of high pressure will just continue to stay put right here. It's not going to go anywhere until perhaps late Saturday into Sunday. It'll start to weaken, kind of slide south and southeast, and that will also pull up some of that subtropical moisture, a little bit of that humidity and instability, which should be a good thing in terms of the chance for showers. It'll also help to lower the temperatures a little bit as well as mitigate fire danger, but it will add some humidity and we may feel a little bit more sticky as we get to the better part of this coming weekend. Uh, these are all the weather alerts in Look place right now. Purpley colors. That's the excessive heat warning for pretty much everybody. Even along the coast, we've got a heat advisory now for those temperatures getting up to the upper 80s and 90s. We have an air quality alert, so that will get you indoors in some air conditioning because of the higher ozone and pollution levels. That fire weather watch for critical fire weather, uh, fire weather because of the uh, dry, hot uh, conditions, even some breezy conditions. Know the symptoms, please. The heat dangers here. There's heat heat exhaustion and then there's heat stroke so you really do want to pay attention I think the biggest telltale sign is that cool pale clammy skin you really need to get inside drink some water cool down when you have red hot dry skin no sweating despite the heat that's when you're really getting into dangerous territory of a heat stroke you want to call 911 if you see anyone experiencing those symptoms so please be mindful of the heat and stay heat safe Saturday and Sunday will be the uh, days we're looking at some chances for some showers up into Big Bear. That would be a good thing, like I said. Maybe some clouds will help to filter at least the sunshine a bit. 76 to 79, those are the temperatures right there on the sand with toes in the water. The surf heights two to four feet rolling in, so watch that. The moderate rib current risk in the water if you head to the coast. 85 today for coastal communities. Even hotter tomorrow. 99 for downtown LA today. 103 tomorrow. The last time we saw triple digits in downtown was back in 2022 uh, in September. So it's been a while. 115 to 117 tomorrow for the valleys, close to 120 for parts of the Coachella Valley today. So the low desert is really hot, as you can see. Some relief as we get into early next week. But remember, it will still be slightly above the average. Our